Hey everybody, my name's Pupsker, and today we're going over the oh-so-loved weapon, the Exceltra. If you didn't know, the Exceltra is pretty much, it's an assault rifle with explosive rounds. And as you can see, it does impact damage by default. I think I have like electricity thrown on myself. And then this is the radial damage. This weapon can be picked up on Uranus Ur, and as you can see here, it can be decked out to be a pretty sick crit weapon. I like to throw statuses on myself just to have some extra status damage as usual, but you know, you do you. So we're gonna go over my build and then we'll take the weapon out quickly for a test run just in case because it's it's a great weapon okay so if you at all like the video i would appreciate it if you were to subscribe and like the video and naturally dislike it if you hate it so this is my exceltra as you can see beautiful weapon so the one thing i could definitely swap out is stormbringer that's not really a big issue I could put heat on it, it doesn't matter. This is, I guess, optional, and also the Riven mod. My Riven mod at the moment is not optimal, but it's not terrible. As you can see, it has crit damage, which is why I have it equipped, but it has projectile speed and weapon recoil, which are worthless. So once I get some more Kuva, I will be re-rolling this. That'll probably be a video. But other than that, serration for damage, split chamber for more multi-shot, point strike for crit, heavy caliber for some more damage. This can be swapped out if you want to. Uh, I just have it on for now though. Crit damage on vital sense, vigilante armaments for multi-shot and that little bit of crit chance, and then Stormbringer for some elemental. And this can be swapped out, heavy caliber can be swapped out, Seltra ribbons can be swapped out. You can really just do whatever you want with this. Of course, since it is primarily a crit weapon, primarily build towards crit damage and, you know, multi-shot's just a flat multiplier, but yeah. The one annoying thing about this is you might, no matter what, you need to collect enough ammo, okay? It runs out and eats ammo very fast. It has a magazine of 48, so you really, uh, you can't hold too many, okay? I would recommend either using some sort of vigilante supplies, either throw it on for the Exilis adapter or whatnot, or throw something on your Warframe or your companion to get more ammo. You're probably fine realistically just picking up rifle ammo, that's usually how I roll because I don't know if my companion right now actually has any sort of supply pickup or swap over for ammo. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, but anyways, it is Helios. So that is how I have the Exceltra. Let's take it out for a test run quickly to actually see how good it is. As you can see, I'm just running Oberon. I did some fashion frame on him quickly because, uh, you know, I kind of needed to do that. I will do a Kuva. Is there a higher level Kuva? Yeah, I'll do a Kuva Exterminate just to quickly run through the mission and blow shit up with this gun, because that's essentially what I'm here for. So, let's get it done. Okay, so this weapon I'm going to use to get some Kuvas. As you can see, I'm always red critting, purely because that's just how I have my colors set right now. It's very easily does a lot of damage. Don't pay attention to the color of crits anymore. Pay attention to the actual numbers. It's pretty easily destroying everything. The only thing that may be annoying is enemies with health like the Bombarder or something like that. Just a lot of armor and health because this is impact and electricity right now. Yeah, see, as you can see, it's kind of a pain. So by no means is my build for this weapon perfect or anything like that. There's a lot of improvements and changes that could be made if I so choose. I would also possibly throw on like Firestorm, Prime Firestorm, if you want that radial to do some more increased range, because while it's definitely not bad, it could be bigger, you know? More AoE is never a bad thing, I say, but it's always up to you what type of missions you're running. I never throw on any of these specific faction mods myself, but if you're doing higher level content, Steel Path, things like that, might be worth it. Take off heli hev <clears throat> take off heavy caliber, sorry words are hard, and then throw on a faction exclusive mod because you'll get way more bang for your buck if you wanna 
properly min-max your modding, you know, things like that, right? But as you guys may or may not know, I myself tend to just casually mod. I'm pretty chill about it. As long as it's strong enough to do everything that I need it for, I'm not mad. Aw. What? Sorry, sorry, that just, that confused me. Oh, okay, gotcha. I was like, how did he get up there? I didn't realize the zip line took them straight there. So I have to kill a metric ton of enemies? Didn't realize that. So this will be a longer video than I thought. <laughs> I should have probably done something to make this a little less painful, but oh well, it is what it is. So as you can see, the Seltzer is just, it's a good weapon. That's why you see me run it a lot on stream. You probably just see it ran a lot in people's videos. It's a overall good, strong weapon. It doesn't do insane damage, don't get me wrong. If you mod it fully to its best capabilities, it'll be doing some good damage. But if you look at the ammo in the bottom right, that's its number one problem, okay? The number one problem is the fact that it just doesn't have a whole lot of ammo. Okay, is there an enemy down there? Down there? Where, where are you guys? Yeah, it's truly a problem, right? So, as long as you have some good ammo refill, you're probably going to be okay. But as you can see, I just ran out of ammo. Because <laughs> like I said, I don't got a ton of ammo refill. That's why I showed you earlier. I can probably throw some more Forma and a Weapon Exilus adapter into this, and then it'll be a lot better. But, I also have my Bronco Prime on. This one's not min-maxed at all, though. It's just getting there. Okay, let's... Can I swap back? Oh! Wait, did... Oh, no, I dropped it. They they knocked it out of my hand. See, this is why... That's why, this is why I'm a fool, okay? It gets knocked out of my hands. I don't... I, I'm good on ammo. I just don't even realize it. I'm like, oh, why can't I swap back? And now it all makes sense. See, this is a truly... This video is just secretly a life in the mind of me. But yeah, I use this gun honestly a ton. It just does so much damage that you can just run through and destroy everything. Let me grab that. Then I gotta go do that. I'm truly sorry for running such a long mission. But everybody makes mistakes. Because <laughs> it'll have no problem on steel path missions, but you may want to mod it a little better. Because while it will do some damage, and Oberon's not the ideal Warframe to have this on, but I mean, he can strip armor, so it's not the worst, right? You'll just have to use uh, mods more. Or sorry, abilities. Nice. And it is also kind of like the Ignis Wraith. It's a very lazy gun in that sense. That you can just shoot forward and kill everything. But sometimes there might be the tankier enemies again that you have to kill off with melee or just have a better build. See, and then, uh, my ammo. No, no, I'm, yeah, full on sniper ammo. That's true. Yeah, so I would throw another Forma on this, get the Exilus Weapon Adapter mod, throw on Vigilante Supplies, throw on a couple Formas here and there, and then it'd be a perfect build. It does definitely require, especially if you're having a Riven on it like me, more Forma. And if you want a perfect build, everything in this game requires more Forma. More Primes you have, more Forma. Yeah, it's the usual. The struggle of Warframe. The forever. The forever struggle of just need more stuff, but always. Melee is still top tier, but primaries are good to get some kills in there. Plus, you know, primaries have range attack, where most melees don't. Cough, cough, glaives, cough, cough. Oh, there we go. So I just try not, not to die this run, but who knows. I don't have, like, this isn't the tankiest Oberon or anything. Or maybe he is. I have no idea what build I have on him. I'm just here to really kill people with the Exceltra and just chat. So how's everyone doing? So I am will be getting my puppy in... Now, yeah, we're transitioning. I'll be getting my puppy soon enough in two weeks. I'm hoping he'll be a good Warframe player, you know? I'm gonna teach him how to use the Exceltra pretty fast. Okay, who's actually attacking me? Yeah. So, all is well. I'll be getting a new phone, so if you see some higher quality pictures lately on my posts and whatnot, that will be why. So, thank you guys for that. 
Oh my god, Exceltra, go! Exceltra, go! Okay, the Exceltra has done the, the things. Yeah, see, that's just a perfect example of what's... <laughs> it's just an easy gun, right? It just mows down everyone pretty easily. I will be min-maxing my build again one day. Maybe, maybe when I fully finish off the build, I'll make another video. But until then, this is my current build. It gets everything done easily. The only issue is ammo. I didn't have my ammo uh, swapping on my Helios. I probably will throw that on now because I definitely forgot. I mean, I showed off earlier. I didn't think it'd be a huge issue and it realistically isn't. It just makes some content a little easier. Do that and kill them all. See, I mean, if you have Prime Firestorm on, even higher chance of killing everyone just spraying around like a madman like that. But of course, it's always up to you. I don't mind sacrificing some damage for utility range, things like that if it's required. Especially on like melees, explosives, Kuva Brahmas, things like that, right? Bye bye, friend. I really shouldn't have chosen a mission that requires 244 extermination kills, but yeah. You know, that's life, and sometimes in life we all make mistakes. So yeah, if you guys have any pretty hype Exceltra builds, let me know though. Because uh, mine, while it is clearly good enough, it's not super OP. I could swap out the impact damage a bit. Do, do some things around there, but... It, it'll get there in time, okay? It'll get there in due time. But people just always ask me when I'm streaming what my Exceltra build is, so I thought I'd show everybody. But yes, the red crits are again, just colored. They're just colored red crits. You know, UI customization. I made a video about it a while ago, but I feel like that'll be a forever question that I get asked because people see red crits and they get excited. And then they see red crits 24 seven, they get even more excited. They don't notice if it's an off shade of the red crit. So, yeah. That's the thing about Warframe though. Primaries, they're not the strongest, but they're great for clearing out if they're explosive for sure. And they can definitely be built to do strong enough damage to everything. And that's why I have Helios right there. <laughs> Just because I don't know what I still need to scan and whatnot. Oh no. Is it trying to get me to kill an enemy? Oh, okay, no, he's right there. I never know if the game's gonna do the thing where it's like, oh hey, there's an enemy like 700 meters back. Go kill him. And it's like, what? What? That's how you are auto target game? The enemy that's 700 meters back? You fuck? I guess I should probably also mention this. The gun, it, since it is an explosive gun, it has stagger. Like, you can jump forward and get staggered, but it has a certain range at which the explosion won't take place. So if you just shoot down, you see, it's just a rifle. So it has a small activation area, so you can stagger yourself, but it's not the easiest to stagger yourself, per se. I, you know, just thought I should mention that, because once in a while you may stagger yourself, for sure. It happens here and there, but not too often. Okay, so that was a pretty casual, slow mission, sorry about that. But, as you can see, we have Oberon, all of that damage, ah uh, yes, we got all of the stuff. And that is the Exceltra. So let me know what you think, what you think of my build, what you think I should swap out. By no means is it a perfect build, it's just what I'm using in the meantime until I maximize and perfect the build and the ribbon. It's mainly on the ribbon that I'm waiting on right now, I just don't care enough to. It has high crit percent and, well, percent damage, and that's all I, I really care for. So thank you guys for watching this video. Farm up the Exceltra on Uranus Ur if you don't have it already. It is Goss's specialty weapon, so I believe if Goss is wielding it, he will reload it faster. So again, thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, I would appreciate it if you were to subscribe and like the video. You can dislike it if you hate it, and you can check out my other stuff and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and, you know, Twitch if you really want to. Thank you guys for watching. Follow my Discord. Peace.